The Dragon Ball world is expanding beyond its borders, and this time to the biggest extent ever with the Universe 6 arc. Hello there, beautiful friends from around the world. I'm your host, Black and Fist, and episode 28 of Dragon Ball Super is finally the beginning of a completely brand new arc that seems to bring a lot of new concepts into the Dragon Ball world, along with some new characters. Of course, We've seen little tiny snippets of Vados and Champa, but we finally get a full and proper introduction in this episode. And in this introduction, we learn a little bit more about Champa and his character and how they contrast and conflict with Beers. While Beers is a very confident and full of himself character, Champa seems to be a very insecure, even though he is still very much into himself. I guess that's just how all Gods of Destructions are. We also get to learn a little bit tiny more about Vados, but just like Whis, a lot of that is kept under wraps. I feel that perhaps those secrets might not be revealed until a later point in the story. Although the proper introductions of both Vados and Champa were interesting in their relationship to the God of Destruction, Beerus, and his assistant Whis, and the setup for the next arc, which is going to be a tournament format, the most interesting things, at least that I found, was when they were talking about the different universes. As I think a lot of people already know, Champa is the god of destruction from Universe 6. The universe we've always known, the one we've always seen throughout the series, is Universe 7. A lot of people were speculating on whether the different universes were just going to be copy and paste universes, pretty much the same thing, but maybe slightly different or completely out of the blue different universes that have completely different rules and circumstances. Well, in a strange way, we got a little bit of both because the way that all this is structured and organized is that all the 12 universes have a pair and the way we determine whether the universe is a twin is whether the universe number adds up to 13 the most relevant universes for us are universe 6 and 7 equals 13 therefore they're twins this works across the board for all universes and I think this was a very clever decision because you get best of both worlds and it also gives you a lot of potential to expand. Because Universe 6 and 7 are twins, they are very identical and you get that whole dynamic of what are the slight differences in Universe 6. But because there are other universes that are completely different from just Universe 6 and 7, you can get those wild and off the cuff stories that people were speculating about back when this whole universe concept was introduced. Overall, this episode I think did a great job of introducing the main players of the next arc. Episode 29 sees Goku and Vegeta returning to Earth and coming back with the news to Bulma about how we're wagering Earth to some foreign power. A little bit more is discussed about the Super Dragon Balls. What I really like here is the usage of Bulma because Bulma isn't really putting up with Beerus. One thing that I think it was very smart that Dragon Ball Super is doing right now is that Beerus isn't being treated by everybody as he's just one of the bros who just wants to have fun and eat. But when his job is to destroy planets, I feel that there should be some characters who have reservations. And I, Boma is playing that role. Her distrust of Beerus and, and her alternative plans for the Super Dragon Balls creates an interesting conflict of interests so that not everyone is on the same page and I think it creates an interesting dynamic with Beerus because what if he finds out this plan, how is his reaction going to be? Is he going to be feel betrayed or is he going to understand? Nevertheless, it creates an interesting conflict and I think it's pretty well justified. I'm kind of agreeing on why Bulma isn't just willing to throw in all her bets with Beerus considering that Beerus kind of is like one of those gangsters who's like comes up to a shop owner says you know what I won't destroy your business as long as you just provide me with some food that's kind of a way you could interpret beers there's also the revelation of a completely new character or maybe not completely new because she was in previous material but for Dragon Ball Super tights is being introduced into the series and I have actually mixed feelings about introducing tights into everything even though I have mixed feelings I'm not saying that it was a bad idea to introduce her but it's not one of those threads that I'm completely thrilled with other than that, episode 28 and 29 were some of the more enjoyable episodes in this whole series. And honestly, I have to say that has to help. that probably has a lot to do with the fact that it's not movie material. And honestly, I feel that 
the more I am watching this, and especially by the end of 20, episode 29, I can't help but feel, why didn't they just start this series at this point? Why did they have to do all that stuff beforehand? But oh well, what's done is done. It's here to stay. And for the most part, it seems the Universe 6 arc is starting off on a good foot. Let's see how it continues on. But anyway, guys, that has been my thoughts on episode 28 and 29. If you like this review, please subscribe to my channel. You will get other episode reviews as soon as they come out. And of course, my other excellent Dragon Ball videos and analysis. But anyway, guys, until Dragon Ball calls again, I'm Black and Fist, and I'm out, man.